Hey everybody, welcome back to my tutorial series for the Cayo Perico setup. Now we're going for something a little bit different than the other ones we've been doing before. This is going to be for the weapon loadout. One thing you want to make sure to do before you do the weapon loadout is to get the suppressors. You'll always want to do that because you're going to want to do these 100% stealth all the time. And you're going to, going to want to go for the Conspirator weapon loadout. Yep. Go back to our trusty Sparrow. Been very kind to us today. Now, when you're doing these, there's two different ones that you can get for the weapons loadout. It is either this, where we're going to go raid a building, or uh, follow a Valkyrie. Uh, we'll wait for Pavel here. Now, what I normally do if I get the Valkyrie, I literally use the missiles from my sub and go blow up the Valkyrie so I don't have to chase it. It's an extremely long setup mission compared to this one that is it is very fast and easy. So, if I, if I keep doing it over and over and over and I'm still getting the Valkyrie, uh, I will eventually do it and I might do a video on that one, but this is by far the easiest way. This is one you can do uh, at the bottom, but it's most easiest to do it up here. The two main ways to clear out this area is stealth with a suppressed weapon and going through and killing everybody one by one, um, going around kind of counterclockwise. I'm going to do that that way also, but I'm going to use this tomahawk that I earned. Uh, basically, the best thing about it is once you hit somebody, you're invincible for a few seconds. So you just go around the room killing everybody and you get this done pretty quick. So now that I got him and I got this funky effect on here, I am invincible. And this is the same path I would follow if I'm stealthing it. Just kind of give you an idea on what to do. And you know, I keep I do say you're invincible, and you're technically not invincible, but oops, the damage you take is like three percent of normal damage, so it's it's not anything you're really gonna have to worry about. One thing you want to remember after you do all this, there is always one guy hiding in the bedroom over here. Make sure you get him so he doesn't surprise you when you're doing the hack over here. Now once we get that done, we're going to want to go over to this spot here. We have to wait for this effect to end to continue to the next checkpoint. So we'll just wait for that here, and we need to wait for Pavel to quit talking. We go over here and hack this to get in there. Now there's going to be a series of four numbers up top, and you need to find them down at the bottom while the numbers are rotating. The way I do it is for this time they gave us 63 and 88. So I'm just going to scan across here to look for 63, 88 and double check to make sure the rest fit, which is this one right here. That's all you got to do. That easy. Open these up and work our way out. Now I do want to note here while I'm doing this, the, there's a few different buildings that you can land on top of while you're doing these. One of them, it's very hard to land on. There's only one skinny bridge for you to land on it. Um, and you kind of want to um, land on it perpendicular to the way it's going, if that makes sense. Uh, it's a very tiny bridge, but it is possible to land on. Now when we're leaving here, immediately get into your helicopter and start heading toward your sub. You are going to have a couple helicopters shooting at you. But if you get out of there as quick as possible, in any direction, 
Uh, you'll take a few shots, but you'll be fine. That's really all we have. We're going to head back to the sub, and that's going to be the end of it. Again, you go right up here. It'll be right on the D-pad on a controller for it to pull you into the sub. And that's it. You're done. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll end this video here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.